viewers hey subscribers and welcome back to my channel according to empress tarot for those of you all who are new to the channel welcome to my returning subscribers welcome back you guys so tonight this is going to be a really quick tarot class i'm just going to go over the major arcana mm -hmm. um i tried to go live a little bit earlier and nobody joined so this is where we are Mm-hmm. all right so let's get into it let's get into it so for those of you guys who are not familiar with tarot let me just explain tarot is a tool of divination used to um interpret situations and energy surrounding a person's situation their energy um like life situations like financial matters matters of the heart, love, friendships, family. The tarot can be used for so many different things, okay? So the way the system is used, it's set up um, with 22 major arcana and then 26 what they call the minors. The minors are the four suits. Um, just like you would have in a regular deck of cards where you have the clubs, the diamonds, the hearts, and the spades, right? Well, in tarot, the system is similar. You have um, the swords, the wands, the pentacles, and the cups, right? And then you have the 22 major arcana, okay? So we're going to go through those first and foremost. I'm going to put this video in a series called Tarot Class 101. Um, feel free to comment down below the video if you have any questions or any anything that you want to know about tarot okay and I will do my best to answer you and help as much as I can because I do not know everything I'm just sharing what I've learned with you guys okay so let's hop right into it we have the wheel the wheel of fortune um the wheel is about cycles ending or beginning depending on what let me explain this depending on what position the cards are in tarot we have what's called upright and we have reversals Uprights are usually um, what most readers will interpret the card to the message to mean, but reversals are usually, for me as a reader, their karmic energy or the opposite of what the upright would be, basically. All right. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is also about divine timing and cycles. We have the world, cycle completion or unfinished business. Um, we have the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. The Hermit is about um, being withdrawn. It's a closed off energy. Also, it's about introspection, self-reflection, introspection, very analytical Virgo energy, okay? We have the High Priestess. It's about intuition. Um, the High Priestess, she is a keeper and a seeker of knowledge. So, secrets revealed and secrets hidden okay known and unknown we have the hangman it's a woman in my deck the hangman seeing things from a different angle see how she's upside down seeing things from a different perspective not just from your point of view we have death death is scorpio energy um all all of the major arcanas are um they're a reflection of some element of the tarot of the zodiac signs i should say so this is Scorpio energy. Death is about transformation and endings. Of course, death is an ending, right? Like it, the finality of life. We have the devil. I'm pretty sure y'all know what the devil is. <laughs> but for those who don't, the devil is uh, negativity, uh, obsession, obsession, obsessive thoughts, toxicity, lies, deceit. Okay, also being stuck. That's the devil. Everything's not what they what it appears to be with the devil. Empress, she's a mother, divine feminine, nurturing energy. Okay, mother. Judgment. Judgment is about being under karmic review. It's about accountability. It's also about awakenings and making decisions. Right? The judge finalizes. The judge says so. All right. We have the magician. The magician is Gemini energy. The magician is the manifester of the tarot. Um, the magician has all of the tools. The magician actually carries everything from wands, cups, 
swords, pinnacles, everything is at the magician's disposal. That's why the magician can be the trickster or the manifester. We have the tower. The tower is about realizations. It's also major changes and shifts, okay? Big Aries energy. We have the lovers. Again, Gemini energy. The lovers. Love. Soulmate energy, divine counterpart energy, twin flames, however you resonate um, in tarot with relationships. But that's what the lovers is. But it's also about contracts being, being bound together with someone. Soulmate energy. <clears throat> we have the moon. The moon. Um, illusions. Secrets. Um, for me, the moon is like shadow work energy, like deep emotions, deep seated feelings and emotions that need to be dealt with. We also have the chariot. This is cancer energy. This is about success, but it's also about forward movement, moving forward in a new direction, overcoming the challenges and pressing on. <clears throat> we have the emperor or divine masculine, as we like to call him in tarot. Woo! <laughs> The emperor is all about balance and control, you know, bringing a situation into balance and control. And this is Aries energy. We have the star. The star is Aquarius energy. And the star is about being positive, being hopeful in all of the things. <clears throat> we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. The Hierophant is about wisdom. It's about spirituality. It's about morals and values. We have temperance. Temperance is Sagittarian energy. And this is about divine timing, okay? Temperance is also about balancing things out and, like I said, divine timing, being patient. We have strength, big Leo energy. Wow. <laughs> strength is about being bold, courageous, fearless, but also um, being loving and compassionate at the same time. You can be fierce, but be loving. Very protective energy, too. We have justice. Justice, balancing the scales. Libra energy. Justice, truths being exposed in karmic cycles. Or karma. We have the fool. The fool is also Libra energy. The fool is about taking a leap of faith, having faith, being hopeful, and taking risks. Being a believer, taking a risk. And of course we have the sun. The sun is about illumination, enlightenment, joy, happiness, warmth, all of those things, success and abundance, okay? So also just as a tip, if you are doing yes or no questions in tarot, just so you guys know, the sun is an automatic yes and the moon is an automatic no, all right? So that's been our first Tarot 101 class. I will do this again next week. Post the video. You guys, please comment down below if this helps you with the Major Arcana. Also, I highly recommend if you're just starting out to pull one card a day. So that way you can get familiar with both the upright and reversal of the Major Arcana. All right. So that's been the video. Until next time, love you guys.